Hi everyone, so I'm here again to talk about your responsibility as a psychic with these abilities. I have spoken about this before a couple of times in different videos where I talk about energetic burglary, where I talk about morals and ethics as a psychic. And basically that if you are going to be making up your own rules, this often comes at a price. I wanted to make this video outside. The last couple of times that I tried to record outside, there was always a bunch of noise. I'm gonna do it anyway today. So, basically, a lot of people are awakening. A lot of people are awakening to their more intuitive abilities that we all have. But there is a boundary between light and dark magic, basically, is what you want to call it. And that is why it is so important that you know about this etiquette, this psychic etiquette basically, and morals and values. And why it is important to go in respecting spiritual laws and boundaries. And why it is important to have somebody's permission first before reading their energy. There's always going to be an energetic boundary when you attempt to read somebody's energy that has not given you their permission. There will not be this feeling of openness, of permission, that you will feel when somebody has approached you and asked you to read their energy. Now, if you understand psychic etiquette, then you will not cross the boundary. That's something that you will not do then as a psychic reader. But unfortunately, we all have a choice. We have the choice to choose to use these abilities in a light way or in a dark way. And also the respect that you should have for Mother, Father, God, Source. That you are here as an ambassador for Source Energy. You have been given these abilities to assist the expansion of Source Energy. And I do understand that light and dark is necessary in a way. And those people that have chosen to play the role of darkness, basically, they are in their own way also expanding. But if you're here on a consciousness journey and you're choosing to expand through light, then you should be aware that there is a specific set of rules that comes with using these psychic abilities. So me personally, uh, personally, I will feel like it would have been a massive disrespect on my end to look into somebody's energy without them knowing. I would be abusing my gifts, misusing my gifts, basically. Because um, you wouldn't go and, and peek through somebody's windows either. So I wouldn't go and, and look... I'm not gonna go and look at your energy if you have not given me your permission. I don't feel like I, it's not my business to go and read people's energies that have not given me their permission, even though I easily could. I, I could probably do it and I could choose to ignore any boundary that I felt and go do that. But I will tell you in a little bit why that is really a bad idea. And you'll have people say, I can sense this off of you. I can feel this off of you. And what you can do, actually, is you can shield yourself from other people reading your energy, but most people have no idea that they can shield their Akashic records. And when you give your permission to somebody, you can open that shield up, but you can also shield yourself. And often, and that is the price that you will pay, when you are just connecting to whatever without this person's actual permission, you are often going to be plugging into false light matrix information. That is not their actual Akashic Records information that is stored in the highest light of source energy. But you're going to be plugging in to something else because you are approaching it from a service to self point of view. You are just trying to gain from it. You're not doing it to help other people. So you are not necessarily going to be granted access to the actual information. Now I have other videos on this. I just quickly wanted to share this and especially 
If you have no idea how any of this works and you are just waking up to these gifts and you are sensing other people's information and you think it's okay to start walk up to them and tell them all this stuff one this person does not have a soul contract with you maybe for you to come and give them this information you are messing with other people's timelines and soul contracts uh, because you are not obeying universal laws spiritual laws two you may not be connecting to the highest information the highest source of information because you have not gotten permission from these people you're not going to be going you're not going to be looking in people's houses through their windows and seeing what's like going on in their privacy and somebody's energy field is their most private space so for me when a person approaches me for a reading i consider that to be a very there's there's birds oh it's a squirrel it's a squirrel i thought it was a bird um so that's going to be somebody's opening up to me and trusting me and I'm not going to disrespect somebody and I'm only going to check for the things that they want me to check because I want to give them the best information that comes from the highest source of light. So I hope that this was helpful. If you would like more guidance on this, if you want to learn how to navigate your own Akashic Records, because I do talk about this in my 33 video series on the Akashic Records that you can find on YouTube, on Instagram, and in my Facebook group, and on Substack, there's 33 videos on Akashic Records advice that you can go and watch. And if you would like your own Akashic Records reading, you can find more information on my website. If you would like more in-depth guidance on how to work with your abilities and stuff, I am available for mentorship too. So I will be back soon with more. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments or send me a message. Bye bye.